Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Let's start lecture 21 As we have uh, ended uh, lecture 20, uh, saying that we would construct a simple uh, pore bay diagram and we will take an example uh, with uh, uh, nickel H2O system. So, our job today is to find diagram of nickel or nickel H2O system. So, for that we have to see what are the reactions that are possible for nickel in H2O system and we can see that all the reactions can be categorized in terms of type 1, type 2, type 3 as we have discussed in our last lecture. So, the first type what we can think of is basically the type 1 reaction which is nickel plus plus 2 E nickel this reaction which is function of potential, but not a function of pH since there is no hydrogen ion involved in this reaction. And in order to find an equation which will give an idea about this reaction which is the Nernst equation E you know, equal to E 0 N i plus R t by 2 f L n activity of N i plus plus activity of N i. See it we will follow ox slash red and we will consider 25 degree Celsius 1 atmosphere pressure. So, this quantity and then if we convert this one to log then we will get following factor. log of 0 0.0591 by 2. Here 2 is coming from 2 electron that is involved in this reduction reaction. Now, the next step is we have to find out this quantity and in order to find out we have to find out delta Z 0 which is nothing but chemical potential rather standard chemical potential of product minus standard chemical potential of N i plus plus. And we can we have the knowledge of chemical potential of standard chemical potential of nickel as well as N i plus plus ion N i equal to 0 mu 0 N i plus plus is equal to 48250 joule per mole. So, we get, so there is a minus sign, so 0 minus, so minus and this minus would become plus 48250. So, which is to be equated to minus 2 f E 0 and in this case E 0 is this. So, we get E 0 equal to 48250 2 into 96 500 equal to 
0 0.25 volt. And then we can modify this equation instead of this quantity we can put this 0 point with a minus sign 0 0.25. So, we can have a plot for this equation for this equation on E versus P H. So, here unit is volt. Now, this is minus 0 0.25 volt when activity of when conditions let us say let us put several condition condition 1 activity of N i plus plus equal to 1 and since activity of N i is 1 then E equal to this condition E equal to minus 0 0.25. So, it will be a parallel line parallel to P H axis. So, we get this line. So, at all the P H values we can have we can plot this equation E equal to minus 0 0.25 and that time condition is activity of activity is equal to 1. So, here I am putting activity or A 1 the condition 1 I would say condition 1. So, A i equal to 1. Now, let us see what happens if we have N i plus plus equal to 0 0.5 and of course, A n i equal to 1 since it is a solid pure solid. So, E n i plus plus n i would become minus 0 0.25 minus plus 0 0.0591 by 2 log of 0 0.5 which eventually becomes minus 0 0.26. So, if I give it a color, so this becomes my A 2 equal to 0 0.5. Now, we can have another set A n i plus plus equal to 0 0.1 and that time a n i equal to 1. So, that case e n i plus plus n i equal to minus 0 0.25 plus 0 0.591 by 2 log of 0 0.1. So, it becomes minus 0 0.28 volt. So, this is also volt. So, here also we will have a plot which is A 3 equal to 0 0.1. So, for each activity of nickel ion in the solution, we see that we can construct a line to indicate this reaction, this reaction on E versus P H plot and this line will be parallel to P H axis because since there is no P H term in this equation. So, now question is whenever we have this line we have to also see the stability of two species. The here the stability means this one and this one, these two species are there. Now, question is which side would be my 
uh, nickel and which side would be Ni plus plus. For that let us assume let us assume that for a particular solution we can uh, measure the concentration of ions because once we have nickel in water we will see that nickel plus plus ion is forming. Now let us say 10 to the power minus 6 that is the concentration of or in other word let us say activity N i plus plus is equal to 10 to the power minus 6 that is the limit up to which we can measure the activity of N i plus plus. But once the activity of nickel ion is less than 10 to the power minus 6 then we will not be able to detect anything what does it mean. So, if we could act we if we cannot detect anything so we would say that as if there is no nickel ion. So, then if there is no nickel ion that means the nickel is present only no ion is present this is one part. Second part is we see that as the activity of nickel ion concentration is decreasing that means as we see that it is decreasing we are seeing that the these lines these 1, 2, 3 lines you see the lines are dropping down. So, they are going down. So, that means if we go for 10 to the power minus 6 it will it will go farther down. So, we can also calculate what could be that potential. So, that potential would be definitely E N i plus plus N i equal to 0 0.25 plus 0 0.0591 by 2 log of activity of nickel ion is 10 to the power minus 6. We can find out some value. So, it will be farther down. So, for that we can have another plot. So, this could be let us say here where A is equal to 10 to the power minus 6. So, that means, but question is if we go farther down if let us say activity is less than 10 to the power minus 6. So, what could be the potential? So, that potential would be less than the potential at 10 to the power minus 6. Now, we see that 10 to the power minus 6 is my limit to measure nickel ion concentration then of course, when we achieve this situation we will only see nickel. Now, if I redraw that particular diagram this is pH this is E volt. So, we get this is A equal to 1 this is A equal to 10 to the power minus 6 and now some A less than 10 to the power minus 6. Had we measured this concentration we would have potential here at this point, but here we are not able to measure nickel ion. So, that means nickel is only there what does it mean that below this line we have nickel because we are not able to detect any concentration below 10 to the power minus 6. Now, let us say we assume that we cannot measure a concentration A if it is 10 to the power minus 4 if we say that activity below this we will uh, we are not able to detect any nickel ion. So, we would definitely say that below this activity to the minus 4 there would be all the all the things will be nickel. So, what does it mean that means line below this only nickel is present. So, what happens on top of it? So, the on top of it definitely we have nickel ion. So, this is nickel ion and here it is nickel. So, if I try to see again, so any line which indicates that reduction reaction for nickel ion reduction which is parallel to pH axis below that line 
we have nickel and above that 9 we have nickel plus plus. Now, interestingly as we increase decrease the activity we are actually pushing we are actually extending the nickel ion cons nickel ion stability. So, this is activity equal to 1 and then if this is the activity equal to 0 0.1 like that way as we are decreasing activity of nickel ion or detectable nickel ion we are extending the nickel ion region and contracting the nickel region. So, then of course, the bottom part would be a bottom part of this line would be bottom part of this line would be definitely nickel and top part would definitely be Ni plus plus. So, now we are clear that which side is nickel and which side is nickel plus plus. So, this is the situation for the first reaction which is type 1 type where we have potential dependency, but it is pH independent. We can now we have two species one is nickel one is nickel plus plus. So, the nickel ion can react with H 2 O and then form N i O this reaction is possible. And this reaction you see that whenever nickel is forming nickel ion is first forming and then that would again react with H 2 O to form N i O. Interestingly if we see the forward reaction it is a it is an oxidation reaction, but if we see the backward reaction it is a reduction reaction. So, since we always consider the reduction reaction in order to find out potential. So, we can write this entire reaction reverse. So, it becomes nickel oxide 2 H plus plus 2 E equal to N I plus H 2. So, this side is oxidant and this side becomes reductant. And similarly for nickel ion we can also react with H 2 O and then form nickel O H hold 2 plus 2 H plus. We can have this reaction. Now interestingly you see that this reaction is type 2 and this reaction is type 3. Now, we can also construct another nickel plus H 2 O it can form N i O H hold 2 plus 2 H plus plus 2 E or we can reverse we can write reverse N i O H hold 2 plus 2 H plus plus 2 E equal to N i plus 2 H 2 O. This is also type 2. So, that means we see that we again have two types of reaction one is type 2 and one is type 3. This reaction is pH as well as potential dependent this is only function of pH and no not a function of potential. Since here only we have H plus ion presence, but no electrons are involved in this reaction and but here we have electron involvement as well as hydrogen ion involvement. Now, first look at this type of reaction. So, first consider this is a simple type let us consider that. So, when I consider that so N i O plus 2 H plus plus 2 E equal to N i plus H 2 O. Now, we have to find out a Nernst equation for this. So, Nernst equation so I am not writing ox and reduct like that. So, this is the oxidation the left side is oxidation part and right side is basically the reductant part. So, E 0 plus 
R T 2 F L N activity of N I O activity of H plus square activity of N I and activity of H 2 O. Now, since this is a solid and it is a pure solid, so it is 0, this is 0, this is also pure 0. So, we are left with A H plus. Now, if we assume that uh, the system is maintaining ideality, so A H plus we can consider with the concentration and then if we convert L n to log, so we can write the entire this particular stuff in addition to this we can write E 0 plus 0 0.0591 by 2 into 2 log of H plus or E 0 minus 0 0.0591 pH since minus log of H plus equal to pH. So, we can plot this reaction, this equation on a E versus pH plot. Now, definitely this is a negative slope. So, if I try to see E versus pH. So, at pH 0, I would get E 0 and then as the pH is changing, so the there would be a straight line, this is a plot of a straight line with a slope minus 0 0.0591. So, we have to find out E 0. So, E 0 is nothing but n f and here n f is 2 f because there are 2 electrons involved delta G 0 equal to summation of chemical potential of which would be product reactant. So, then mu of nickel mu 0 mu 0 of H 2 O minus mu 0 of N I O minus 2 mu 0 of H plus. So, again we know that uh, mu 0 N i equal to 0, mu 0 H plus equal to 0, these are convention. Now, mu 0 H 2 O is equal to minus 236964.2 joule per mole and mu 0 n i o equal to minus 215729.8 joule per mole. Then minus 236964.2 plus 215729.8 is equal to minus 21234.4. Therefore, E 0 would be equal to minus 21234.4 divided by 2 into 96500 is equal to 0 0.11 volt. So, for this line this point would be 0 0.11 volt since when p h is equal to this equal to 0 then e equal to e 0. So, we do get a plot. Now, which side would be nickel and which side would be n i o definitely this side would be nickel and this side would be n i o. Now, we see that this side we have said that this side is nickel and this side is nickel oxide. In our next lecture, we will uh, understand why uh, uh, the below this line, this line 
we have nickel and above this line we have nickel oxide. So, let us stop here, we will continue our discussion on Porbe diagram of nickel in our next lecture. Thank you.